Hey friend, my name is Lamar Boschman and I have a worship challenge for you. My topic is heart to heart. And it's all about God's heart on worship. Do we have a worshiping heart? And what role does the heart play in worship? So I ask you a question. Are you a worshiper? Is your family? Are your friends? What about your church family? What would be the potential if everybody that you know were vertical, passionate, honest worshipers? Wouldn't there be great God encounters and miracles and visitations? It'd be wonderful. Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. You see, Jesus knew what God liked about worship. In fact, he said in John 4, if you worship the Father, you must worship in spirit and in truth. Well, how do you do that? In spirit, you mean in the Holy Spirit? With my spirit? Yes, worship is supernatural. And then he said in truth, truthfully, honestly, no pretense, no pretend, no fake, but be, keep it real. So God is interested in honest and supernatural worship. So this is a challenge. I know that Jesus uh, said it elsewhere that when you worship him, you must keep it real because he said this to churchgoers. He said, they honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me and in vain they worship me. Whoa. Imagine if he said that to us. What I'm talking about is transcendent worship, worship that's above the rhetoric and the routine on Sunday mornings, worship that's passionate, worship that connects with God, worship that's real and transcends. It's more like the worship in heaven of angels than it is the worship that we find that's familiar and regular. And Jesus said, in vain they worship me. Can you imagine if I changed the words a little bit and it didn't really change the meaning by saying, these musicians, guitar players and singers and uh, keyboardists, they honor me with their playing and their singing, but their hearts are far from me and their worship is useless or vanity. Whoa, we practiced hard to do these songs and we played them flawlessly. You mean Jesus, that they're useless? Yeah, that's what he's talking about. And this is convicting and this is getting real in our worship. So you see, it's challenging. Jesus is challenging us and I'm challenging you. What would be the potential if you would challenge your family, your team, the congregation you lead to do that kind of worship? You see, I've taught these worship encounters all around the world, Europe, Asia, and Latin America. And I always challenge people, what's God's perspective on worship? What role does the heart play in a worship? And are you a worshiper at heart? And we look at a portrait of a worshiper. So I challenge you to study worship in the Bible. The role that the heart plays in worship, read books. You know, I wrote the book, A Heart of Worship. Matt Redman wrote the song shortly thereafter. So you think maybe the Holy Spirit's saying something to us? about the role the heart plays in worship, heart to heart. Worship doesn't come from the external world, it comes from the internal world. So remember, God's not looking for worship art. He's looking for worshipers' hearts. And so this is Lamar Boschman with the Heart to Heart Worship Challenge. Worship is not the sound of music, it's the sound of the heart. If this resonates with you, I invite you to like this video and share it with your friends. And if you want more content, subscribe to my channel because I'll be uploading all kinds of content of the 40 years of life study that I've had on transcendent worship and music of the kingdom.